Hey everyone, it's time for Wednesday's Sign of the Week. And today, as promised, we've got a really great song to incorporate all of the Australian animal signs that we've been learning over the last three weeks. Now this song was one that was taught to me by the lovely Jamie at Good Start Early Learning at Wungara here on the Central Coast. We also had a request for a different song that incorporates Australian animals as well. So stay tuned next week and I'll teach you a different one as well. But today we've got a song called Miss McDonald Lived in the Bush. This might sound a little bit similar or the same as old McDonald, but this time it's not a man and she doesn't live on a farm. It's a girl who lives in the bush. So you might see the sign for bush done like this if you're talking about a small bush or a shrub, but because we're referring to a rural area like a bush or forest, we're going to do that sign. So get your tree shape, then we're going to move it a little bit lower and move it along our non-dominant hand all the way to our fingertips. So Miss McDonald lived in the bush. When we get to the vowels, we're going to use our fingers. Our vowels are on our fingers when we're spelling. So A, E, I, O, U. So we're going to use E, I, O. E, I, E, I, O. And in the bush, she had so had or have. You might also like to use the sign for see or saw. In the bush, she saw a, or in the bush, she had a, maybe a kangaroo, or a possum, or a kookaburra. So you might also notice too, uh, the video was filmed via an online platform. So in this case, we've used Zoom to record our videos while we're socially distancing here at All Areas Speech Pathology. So you will notice that sometimes the music is a little bit different from Brendan's mouth movements, but because you'll be singing and signing along, you probably won't really notice. Hop, hop here and a hop, hop there. Here, hop. 